Okay, so let's see if we can propagate some butterwort plants using sphagnum moss. Got a Tupperware container here. <laughs> Taken the sphagnum moss and I've just uh, gone through and I've chopped it all up so it's nice and uh, fine. And I've just given it some hydration there with some filtered water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these leaves from the underside of the butterwort plant from the mother plant and uh, we're going to lay them across the sphagnum moss here to see if we can propagate them so just gently pulling them out like that see here I'm going to place it so that this end this pointy end is in the moisture very slightly this one here as well okay I'm just gonna fill up the rest of the tray now okay doke so uh, as I said I've got eight one two three four five six seven eight and I'm gonna um That'll keep it, it'll keep it nice and moist, the, the sphagnum moss, but I'm gonna pop this lid on there that I've cut just a couple of holes in. I'm just gonna gently rest that on top, so I'm not gonna seal it. I'm just gonna sit that on top there. That'll allow a little bit of air to flow through, but also retain a lot of moisture. I'm gonna place that in a brightly lit, but not direct sunlight area. And we'll see in a couple of weeks whether this has uh, Butted any fresh butterworts for us. Sweet, I'll see you back here in a couple of weeks. Okay, doke. So it's been almost two months. Um, it's been more like maybe six or seven weeks. So not a couple of weeks. It's been six or seven weeks. I've been monitoring the progress, and uh, it's been sitting in a, a really like a morning windowsill, morning light windowsill, and I've had to spray it down a couple of times. But lo and behold, here we have. The butterwort propagation so you can see the actual leaves the remnants of the leaves are still here and they've disintegrated but one two three four five six seven eight every single one of them has taken um, some of them are bigger than others and um, some of them even have doubles so where there's two butterwort plants that have that have grown at the root of it now I can trans plant these into some half sphagnum moss chopped up with uh, half some half peat moss like a mixture and um, and I can plant that and keep them probably in a windowsill um, and keep them nice and moist not wet but moist and that'll uh, hopefully they'll continue to grow nice and big catching me lots of little fruit gnats awesome thanks for tuning in give us a thumbs up and uh, have an awesome day.